Hi there learners and in today's video we're going to be talking about significant digits. Okay, so when we talk about significant digits we are talking about numbers that are known with certainty. So for example, if I have 1, 8, we can see that that has five digits to it with one being the first and eight being the last okay so when reading from left to right the first significant digit in a number is the first non-zero digit or our one over here all digits after that are also considered to be significant now, while we cannot just drop the zeros, we can't just throw them away, if they are at the beginning or the end of a number, they are not considered significant. So, let's look at an example. 13, 9, 8, 7, and let's go this route. That would be 13,987,000. Okay, so the zeros at the end of the number are not considered significant. So, this number has how many significant digits? One, two, three, four, five. What about this number? Zero comma three, four, five, seven, four. Again, the zeros at the beginning of the number are not considered. Uh, again, the zeros at the beginning of the number are not considered significant. However, they are still important placeholders and must be written. So, how many significant digits does this number have? Basically, that doesn't count. <laughs> and there you have two significant digits. Don't forget that understanding significant digits becomes important when rounding because when we round a value either up or down, we reduce the number of significant digits in the number. So, if we round a number off to two decimal places, we are simply saying that we are deciding not to work with the digits of a number that are less significant than those digits.